will be a, always a permanent junior there. Right, always a permanent person here at T.L. Hannah High School. Many people call him a fixture, but he's definitely a legend here at T.L. Hannah High School. Coach Jones said it best. He said radio is T.L. Hannah. You can see behind me here, family, they're accepting visitors as they greet them and give their condolences and pay their respects to radio here inside the mall area, which is really the calf area here at T.L. Hannah High School. So many people right now are actually lined up. You can see the line is continuing to flow from outside inside as they make their way around to see radio for one of the final times. His funeral will take place tomorrow at the Civic Center. But again, so many radio stories. I think you mentioned this earlier that everyone has a radio story. Also here in the mall cafeteria area, the students, they created pictures. They drew pictures of radio and left messages of how they remembered him and how, they, how much they loved him. And those pictures are posted here on a billboard here at the school but so many people just wanting to show their respects and many people who had never even met radio or but if they did they would always remember him forever and just wanted to do a little by just saying goodbye and showing their respect so so many radio stories he will definitely be missed on the sidelines here at TL Hanna he started hanging out here inside the school at TL Hanna in 1970 that's when integration happened and I remember Coach Jones was trying to explain to him because they had met before then and he wanted to come to the school and it was hard to explain to him at that time being an African-American man that that was not possible. But their bond was so special, so strong that as soon as that was able to take place, he has never left T.O. Hannah, as you heard. Some of the students have talked about him just coming to give hugs and how it would just change their day or they would hear him walking down the hall because they could hear his keys jingle. So, so many wonderful memories of radio. Guys, back to you. And Jen, I was just reading in the New York Times article, they said, when radio dies, it's a quote, it will be the biggest funeral in the history of Anderson. One assistant football coach at the high school told Mr. Smith, it's the Sports Illustrated uh, author, journalist, who wrote the original article on radio, and he said it'll be like a senator or a governor's funeral there in the community of Anderson, and Certainly. we're seeing that. Right, definitely, as you mentioned, and that's exactly what's going on right now. So many people, more than a thousand expected here to pay their respects, and more than 3,000 are expected at the funeral tomorrow. Cody and Victoria. Jen, thanks so much. We'll see you back here in just a couple of minutes. We do want to go outside now to Margaret Burnquist. She has been talking to folks there, including uh, his principal, who says, again, it's a huge void there at the school, but they say radio's legacy will always live on at T.O. Hanna. A, few, a huge void, but you get the feeling people like telling their stories about radio. They like talking about their favorite memories and, and the happiness that he brought and the lessons that he taught them. So thousands of people have been coming through here, perhaps uh, that you can see the end of the line right there, perhaps hundreds. There have been several different events, so it's, it's spread out. But joining me now is uh, Trinity Burdett, part of the junior ROTC that helped to carry the casket up. First, uh, tell me what that was like for you to be part of that. Um, it was pretty special for us. We're pretty honored about him we care a lot about um, radio it's he's in our lives and he always will be we'll never forget him about him you told me a neat story about what radio would do on Wednesdays yes ma'am um, our chief told us that he said told radio that he was not allowed to come in there unless he wore his uniform every Wednesday he wore his uniform in that class and just stayed with us and learned what do you think it was that, that drew him to the ROTC so much? I mean, he was really interested in, in everything you all were doing and wanted to be part of it. I think I think he just liked to learn about it, and he just liked to be a part of it and just be a part of friends with everybody, honestly. He just liked to get along with people, and we loved him for it. Now, you're just a freshman, so while you talk to some people who have known him for years and years, um, it didn't take you long to, to realize there was something great about him. What do you admire about him? I admired that he always had a smile on his face every day and that he teaches us that nothing really bothers him, really, and it, it just helps us. Yep, so. I figured that every person who enters into this high school has to watch the movie Radio before they're even admitted, but you just recently watched it and you said you were really moved. Yes, ma'am. I just watched it two days ago and, and I, t I learned a lot about it. Don't let people judge you and it's just, I'm going to watch it again really soon. <laughs> 
Well, he carved a place for himself in this community, and the community embraced him. I mean, from from every side. We've already talked to the to the school nurse who took care of him in the morning, and the lunch ladies who fed him, and the ROTC members who who took him in as as one of their own. Uh, how special is it to be part of his story? It just feels like we're a part to be as a family of him, and that we learn more and more of him each day. We always talk about him every day, and it's, it's just a really special thing to us. It's heartwarming. Um, what's the role now for for the JROTC for the rest of the evening? You'll be manning a casket, standing by a door? Yes, ma'am. We'll be um, keeping the door open for the public, and we'll also be standing next to him and honoring him for until 9 o'clock. Anything else that you just, you'll always remember or carry with you? You know, it's a day of sadness that he's gone and that that void will be here, but, but you're glad to have, to have enjoyed it at all. All I know is that I'm proud to be in T.L. Hanna where radio was and just be a part of it. That's it. That sums it up. We'll let you go. Thank you so much. And, uh, you know, that's it. People are proud to be part of this story, part of this history, as the whole nation really talking about about radio today. This is his home. This is where he will always be remembered and where he will always be a junior in high school. Cody, Tori, back to you. Margaret, it's hard to believe she just watched that movie uh, this week. I'll tell you, I watched that movie, you know, younger, a little bit older now. But it's crazy now. I work in this market. When I moved here, I said... First Friday Night Blitz. I said, wait a minute. I remember that movie. I mean, I didn't realize he was from here. So it's pretty cool to work in this market after coming from Missouri, watching that, and then knowing he was right here in our backyard. Yeah, that's for sure. The, the, the rentals of that are skyrocketing. Everyone, everyone should definitely be watching it if they haven't seen it yet. It definitely is touching. Thanks so much, Margaret. And, of course, we are back inside where folks got a little early start who were there to uh, – Watch his cast can be brought into T.L. Hanna High School. Visitation, though, officially underway now at T.L. Hanna High. It's there until 8 o'clock tonight. They are expecting over 1,000 people, so if you are in line, of course, they will let you pay your respects. Uh, they're not going to close that off, but again, they're going to end that around 8 o'clock tonight. You can see folks uh, hugging the family there, his brother George, along with other nieces and nephews and relatives standing by his casket along with the ROTC. You're watching live coverage of James Radio Kennedy's visitation. He died over the weekend at the age of 73, a true legend who we're honoring 